cluster munitions have long been a contentious weapon on the world stage for their ability to send tens to hundreds of smaller bombs flying when they explode. The U.S. is now planning to supply Ukraine with thousands in its latest aid package. With this announcement, uh, we will be able to provide Ukraine with hundreds of thousands of additional artillery ammunition immediately. The worry is smaller bombs not exploding but staying live, which have hurt civilians during and after wars in places like Vietnam. The U.S. last used them in Iraq in 2006 and started phasing them out in 2016. More than 120 countries banned cluster munitions, and the U.N. has asked both Russia and Ukraine to not use them. And it's why I was so disappointed in this decision. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs is of the same mind. She says cluster munitions go against the humanitarian ethics and morals the U.S. is known for around the world. I believe it's my responsibility as a representative of the largest military community in the country to make sure that we are talking about the long-term consequences of decisions like these and how it might impact our service members as well. But U.S. officials say the ones they're sending to Ukraine have a lower rate of of turning out to be duds, meaning fewer unexploded bombs left on the battlefield. Not to mention, they say Russia is using them in civilian areas. Ukraine has used them too, and they're specifically asking for more. We base our security assistance decision on Ukraine's needs on the ground. And Ukraine needs artillery to sustain its offensive and defensive operations. Congresswoman Jacobs isn't alone. She signed a letter along with 19 other Congress members opposing the shipment. Nevertheless, she has praised President Biden for his, quote, expertise and level-headedness in handling the war and says she will continue to support aid for Ukraine. This new aid package totals about $800 million. It includes ammunition and armored vehicles.